And I can tell you, having now had a chance to familiarize myself completely with our nation's finances, I can tell you that I'm really worried. I believe if this super committee doesn't act, and if they're not bold, our nation faces the most predictable economic crisis in history. I believe that the fiscal path that our nation is on is simply not sustainable. And if I had to give you an analogy uh, that I thought described our current situation, I would tell you that these deficits, these deficits are like a cancer and they are literally going to destroy this country from within if we don't do something about it and do something about it quick. The president came out with his own plan and the president, as you remember, came out with a budget and I don't think anybody took that budget very seriously. Uh, the Senate voted against it 97 to nothing. He therefore, after a lot of pressure from folks like me, uh, he came out with a new budget framework, and in that new budget framework, he, cuts, he cut the budget deficit by $4 trillion over 12 years. And to be candid, this, this, this $4 trillion cut was very heavily back-end loaded. So if you looked at it on a 10-year basis and compared apples to apples, it really was about a $2.5 trillion cut. Uh, I got a question here from... Uh, not one I particularly want to answer, but I will. In, in your view, what was the primary reason why uh, the Deficit Commission's plan was not adopted? Uh, it's a great question. I'll just tell you the truth. Uh, I, I didn't know President Obama as well as I knew President Clinton. And one of the primary things in the business world that you learn is know your client. And so I spent a lot of time with the President and his economic team trying to make sure we defined success. That was really important to me. I had to know what we had to do in order to get something done. And I had a, a very firm idea of that. And I can tell you the plan we came forward with not only met the criteria he outlined, but it exceeded it in many different ways. So I expected him you know, to grab hold of it and say, wow, this is great. That's what Clinton would have done. He would have said he, would have said he made it up. Uh, <laughs> and Al would have said he invented it. Uh, <laughs> but look, you know, uh, I've got empirical data that my political antenna are not that great. And since that time, the president has come out and said he likes our plan, he thinks it's good, and he's for it. And, Hopefully, uh, we'll end up at the right place that we'll get at least $4 trillion of deficit reduction. And that's really the key. You know, it's not when you get it or if we get it, you know, all at once. You know, it's to get it. And what we got to do is bring these two parties together. We got to put the politics aside. And we got to do what, uh, what is right. And what is right is to put our fiscal house in order for these kids.